confirm separation of the solid rocket boosters. Just two minutes after liftoff, and the painstaking job of preparing for the next shuttle mission is about to begin. The Atlantic Ocean, 140 miles or 225 kilometers from the Florida coast. The crews of two ships are scanning for the first glint from two huge metal tubes, 12 stories tall, that are plunging from the sky. The shuttle solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, just provided over six and a half million pounds of thrust. Now their fuel is spent. But to NASA, the SRBs are a lot more than 96 ton hunks of junk steel. Yeah, I got you loud and clear now, Dave. John Fishbeck and his crew are the point men in the ambitious recycling operation that lies at the heart of the shuttle program. When you turn on a television set, you know, in California or Washington or up in Wisconsin, they're, they're focusing on a, a segment on the news of the liftoff, and uh, I'm not sure that the population is aware that there's a recovery operation going on, and these parts are reused over and over. Before the SRB can be towed back to port, divers force out tons of seawater using a custom-built system that pumps in pressurized air. Recycling all the parts of a pair of SRBs will take at least two years and cost $80 million. Booster look real good. Parachutes all separated well. Great day. We're done. What Fishbeck and his crew have accomplished is just the first of hundreds of costly and time-consuming steps on the road to the next shuttle mission.